Now let's do part two sa numerical reasoning about ratio and proportion and number analogies. Number 11, point 0.3 is to 3 over 10 as point 0.55 is to what? Itong point 0.3, ang relasyon nito, number analogy tayo, ang relasyon nito, ipig sabihin, yung decimal na point 0.3, ginawa lang siyang fraction, 3 over 10. Nasa isang place lang yung decimal, so isang 0. Ito namang si 55.55, .55, that is 55 over 100. Dalawang 0 kasi nasa dalawang place lang siya. So itong 55 over 100, hanapan natin siya ng greatest common factor at ang greatest common factor nitong dalawa ay 5. 55 divided by 5, that is 11. 100 divided by 5 and that is 20. So 0 0.3 is to 3 over 10, 0 0.55 is to 11 over 20. So the answer is letter A. Number 12. In a certain class, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 4. If there are 21 boys, how many girls are there? Boys is to girls. Ang boys, 3 is to 4 ang girls. There are 21 boys. So, Ilan daw ang girls? Paano naging 21? From 3, that means 21 divided by 3, that is 7. So, 4 times 7 was 28. So, there are 28 girls. Para mas madali, and you can answer this in 3 to 5 seconds lang. Pag ganito ang mga tanong, in a certain class of a ratio of boys to girls, so itong 3, si boys, at si 4 ay girls. If there are 21 boys, 21, i-divide mo agad si 21 into 3. So 21 divided by 3, that is 7. 7 times 4, 28. So ganun lang. Letter D. Number 13. Two numbers are in ratio of 3 is to 5. If their difference, mag-minus tayo, is 38, what is the bigger number? 5n minus 3n equals 38. 5n minus 3n, that is 2n, equals 38. Then, n is equals, we divide natin ng 2 on both sides. So, 38 divided by 2, 19. So, ang n, ang equivalent ng n is 19. Ang tanong, what is the bigger number. Itong 5, yan yung bigger number sa ratio natin. So, 19 times 5, and that is 95. Letter D. Again, at doon tayo sa fastest way to answer this one. Pag difference, itong ratio na to, i-minus natin sa malaki, kung total positive naman yan. So, mas malaki ang 5, 5 minus 3. So, tayo, that is 2. Ang result dito, yan yung pang-divide natin sa 38. 38 divided by, by 2, that is 19. So, itong 19 na to, doon mo i-multiply sa pinakamalaki, bigger number. Pag-multiply 19 times 5, and that is 95. Kapag ang question is yung smaller number, itong 19 na to, doon mo i-multiply sa 3, then you will get the smaller number. So, sa number 13, letter D ang answer. Number 14. In a class, there are 23 girls and 19 boys. If 14 pupils got merit certificates in the science challenge eliminations, what fraction of pupils got merit certificates? So, ito yung 23 plus 19. I-add mo siya. Kuna natin yung uh, total. And this is 42. 42 yung total na pupils. Ang may merit ay 14, and that is to answer the questions of what fraction of pupils got merit certificate. So, 14 over yung total na estudyante. 14 over 42, kunin natin yung greatest common factor para malist natin siya. And the greatest common factor nitong dalawa ay 14. So, ibig sabihin, i-divide natin ng 14 ng both, na I mean numerator and denominator. So, 14 divided by 14, that is 1. 42 divided by 14, and that is 3. So the answer here is letter D. Number 15. 
If 5 is to n equals 45 is to 54, what is n? Mag-cross multiply lang tayo niyan. So, 45 is to 54. Ito, that is 45n equals 5 times 54, and that is, we have 20, 25, 27. Okay, so n is equals to 45, cancelled out natin yan, itong 270, divide mo na siya ng 45. How many 45 this will be? Uh, 6, 30, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yes. So, the answer is letter A. 6. Again, pas, para mas lalo lang maintindihan. Kapag ganito ang given, ito ang i-multiply mo. Tapos, next, ito ang i-multiply mo. So, magiging... Uh, 45n equals 5 times 54. So, pag multiply mo dyan, 5 times 54, ito na yun, 270. Si 45n naman, para ma-isolate si n dyan, did, uh, tinatransfer mo sa kabila, so pang divide na siya sa 270. So, 270 divided by 45, the answer is 6. Number 16. The ratio of the price of bed to sala set is 3 is to 4. If the sala set costs 10,000, what is the cost of the bed? Now let's answer this in less than 5 seconds. The answer is 7,500. Actually, it's less than 5 seconds. How? Itong 10,000 na to, yan yung i-divide mo dun sa, yun, divide mo siya ng 4. So that is 2,500. Parang pera lang yan. I-apat mo yung 10 pesos mo. That is 250. So, Pareho lang, 10,000, that is 2,500. Divide mo sa 4, 2,500. I-multiply mo siya ng 3. Multiply mo siya ng 3, this is 75, tapos drop mo yung 0. And the answer is, letter C, 7,500. Dahan-dahanin natin para mas lalo maintindihan siya. Bed is to sala, sala set. 3 is to 4. Ang cost ng sala set ay 10 Thousand. Ngayon, magkano kaya dito sa bed? 10,000 divided by 4 and that is 2,500. Bali, 4 times 2,500, 10,000. Yan din ang gagawin natin dito sa kabila. 3 times 2,500 and that is 7,500. Kaya ang answer ay letter C. Another way para mas lalong maintindihan siya. So, bed is to sala. So, yung bed ay 3 is to 4. Ito yung hinahanap natin, yung cost ng bed. Cost ng bed over itong sa kabila ay uh, 3 is to 4. 3 versus sa bed. Pariho silang bed. Itong 4 naman versus din sa cost ng 10,000. Si 10,000 ay yung uh, Ratio na 3 is to 4, dapat uh, magka-line siya. This is 10,000, tapos 4, ito yung sala set. Ngayon, ito namang let B natin, ito yung sa bed, yan din yung ratio na 3 sa bed. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin ay cross multiply. And this will be 4B equals, ito i-multiply natin, and that is 30,000. So, B, para ma-isolate si B dyan, mag Divide tayo ng 4 to both sides. So, 30,000 divided by 4 and the answer is 7,500. So, ganun pa rin. 7,500. Number 17. What is the ratio of 16 hours to 4 days? Ang gagawin natin, ipariho natin silang hours. 4 days, uh, how many hours that one is, we will multiply 24 hours. Kasi per day, there is 24 hours a day. So, 24 times 4, and that is 16, 8, 96. So, 96 hours in 4 days. What is the ratio of 16 to 4 days? 16 is to 4 days is 96 hours. So, pareho na silang hours. I-list natin yan. Hanapin natin, hanapan natin yan ng uh, greatest common factor. 
Ang greatest common factor ng dalawa ay 16. So, 16 divided by 16, and that is 1. 96 divided by 16, and that is 6. So, the answer is letter B. Ulitin ko lang para mas klaro. What is the ratio of 16 hours to 4 days? Hours to days. Itong days natin, i-convert muna natin siya ng hours para magkapareho sila. So, in a day, there is four, uh, 24 hours. So, 24 times 4 and that is 96. So, bali 16 versus or is to 96. 16 is to 96. Ang para ma-ratio natin yan, dapat natin uh, i-list sila. Hanapan natin ang greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor ng dalawa ay 16. Bali, yun yung ma-divide sila. So, 16 divided by 16, that is 1. 96 divided by 16, and that is 6. So, ito na yung pinakalis. Ito na yung ratio. Letter B ang sagot. Number 18. Find two numbers whose sum is 19 and whose product is 84. The easiest way to answer this one is just find the factors of 84. So, 84 times 1 na mag sum siya ng 19. So, 20, 42 times 2, hindi siya mag sum ng 19. And we have 21 times 4, hindi rin. And we have 7 times 12. 7 times 12, kung i-add mo yan, ang sum niya ay 19. So, ang answer dito ay 7 and 12. Another way, which is, ganito rin naman ang gagawin natin, hahanapin natin yung factors ng 84. Pero para mas malinaw lang, ito pa ang another way na gagawin natin. Bale, A plus B equals 19. Ang product ni A times B equals 84. So, let A, uh, bali mag-substitute tayo. Si A equals 84 over B. I-substitute natin si A. So, ngayon si A, equivalent ni A ay 84 over B plus B equals 19. Para uh, mawala yung denominator na B dyan, we will multiply B sa buong equation. So, ito ma-cancel na. It will be 84 plus B squared, kasi B times B, equals 19B. I-arrange natin, and that will be B squared minus 19B, na minus na kasi transfer man natin siya sa, dito sa kabila, plus 84 equals 0. Ito na yung algebraic expression natin. So, uh, trinomials. Gawin natin itong... Uh, Yung dalawang ganito. B squared, ito na yan. Negative man yan, positive man dito. So, dalawang negative. Ngayon, ganun din ang process natin. Hahanapin natin yung factors ng 84 para ang result niya ay 19. So, dito, and ang na-identify natin before is 7 and 12. So, ganun din. 7 and 12. Equals 0. So, ito na yung sagot. Base dito, ang B ay 7. Of course, para maging 0 siya. Itong si, uh, isang B naman ay 12 para maging 0 siya. So, ang answer ay 7 at saka 12. Number 19. What is the ratio of 24 hours to 2 days? So, same lang din. 24 hours is to gawin mong oras yung dalawang araw. Ang isang araw ay 24 hours. I-multiply mo siya ng 2, that is 48. So, 24 versus 48. Ang greatest common factor ng dalawa na pwede natin i-divide nitong dalawang numbers, 24 and 48, is 24. So, itong 24 na to, 24 divided by 24, that is 1. 48 divided by 24, and that is 2. So, ang answer ay 1 is to 2, letter B. Number 20. Three numbers are in ratio of 3, 4, 6. If the middle number is 28, what is the sum of the three numbers? 
3 is to 4 is to 6. A middle number I 28. All we have to do is divide 28 by 4. 28 divided by 4 and that is 7. Itong 7 na to, yan yung pang multiply natin dito sa ibang numbers. 3 times 7, that is 21. Uh, 6 times 7, and that is 42. The question is, what is the sum of the three numbers? These are the three numbers. So, 21 plus 28 plus 42, ito lang, para mas madali mong kwan, ito 70, 91 ang answer. So, the answer is letter B. Para mas madali mong i-add, ipares mo yung 8 at saka 2, 10 yan. So, yung 10, mayroon ka ng 30 plus 40, 70. 70 plus 21, you have 91.